Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? And uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about the last option for emulate inheritance into in the R relational database. And the last, last strategy is called table per concrete class. Okay, and uh, for uh, for the subclasses, it's gonna inherit all the attributes from the parent class. So in the concrete tables, it also will inherit or include all the columns inside the super uh, abstract class. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the demo. I already have the demo uh, kind of like ready. So let me show you in this uh, Hibernate demo for you can download uh, from the GitHub. I put the description. Uh, I put the source source code link in the description, and uh, in the table per concrete class this package I have account. Okay, account is abstract class, and then I have entity. The others is uh, like a no argument uh, default constructor set getter, and I have uh, ID balance and uh, customize the constructor for checking extends account have entity and have column have customized the constructor uh, i think you are you should be able to read the understand the code okay and for the saving extends from account have entity also have the interest and have a customized code you should be able to know what they are and also for all the inheritance Okay, no matter we are using single table, join tables, table per concrete class, make sure in the concrete class, which is a subclass, don't provide the ID, okay, because the ID is in the super class. And now, if uh, here we are uh, now, uh, sorry, uh, when we go to the account, by default, if we leave it like this, it's gonna be join a single table as default, okay? For all the inheritance, by default, gonna using single table strategy, okay? One table per, in, uh, per inheritance hierarchy. And this demo, this video is for table per concrete class. How do the change add the inheritance? And we give a strategy, and then we give uh, uh, what's the inheritance type, which is a table per concrete class. When we using join, it works. But when we run, let's see if it works or not. Okay, so we go to the app man, which is this app man. I just uh, uh, have two checking and a saving and a persist them. Okay, let's run. Mm -hmm. Here, so when we using table per concrete class, you cannot using identity generation strategy to generate the primary key. Cannot use can see here mapping exception. Cannot using identity column key generation with union subclass. Because we kind of like uh, in the uh, in this case table per concrete class, we only have two tables, and uh, your ID balance will be included in checking, and also your ID balance here will be included in our savings. In this case, if in the future we want to have a query to select for all the accounts, okay, all the accounts. If we using identity to generate value for checking account table and savings account table, and when when we merge them as a whole, we are gonna have the problem. We cannot using sequence because when using ID generation, the generation gonna for both table we are started with one one two two three three four four. When we merge as all as a whole, both of them are account type. 
we cannot have uh, two accounts with the same primary key. That's why here cannot using identity key generation. So we can use in sequence, we can use in table, but uh, no matter what, my SQL doesn't support for what? Sequence. So it must be using table. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. We cannot using identity using sequence. If we're using auto here, it also works because when we're using auto, by default, it's gonna using sequence. And uh, since my SQL doesn't support it for sequence, so it's gonna have another table which is a hibernator underscore sequence. Okay, let's run one more time. From the SQL, if you didn't see exception, most likely it's gonna, it works, okay? And see here, you already have to insert, insert correctly, so it, it works, okay? So let me do this thing. D, E, you know. E, I want to share, you know, the uh, one half and the other half. Sometimes it works for me. E, ho, okay, good, 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 work, works. Now, where's my workbench? Are they here? Refresh, refresh, and now you see three table. This happening sequence is to emulate the sequence uh, object in my SQL because my SQL doesn't support for sequence, okay? And we have uh, two other table. The first one is checking. Let's take a look at. We will have one, and the second one is a saving, and have two. So let's take a look at checking, right? Checking the ID is the ID in the account, right? The ID in the account. And for the balance is also in the account. And for the saving, uh, for the limit is a, is a field inside our checking. And we will see the value is 1510. And for the savings, and uh, for the savings, it also have two balance interest. These two fields uh, column is from the account, which is super class. And the interest is uh, the savings uh, on uh, fields. And uh, when we using table per concrete class, the if we do a query uh, for each type, it's gonna be fast. And, uh, but the problem is uh, it's not uh, normalized. You know, if we have uh, many, many fields inside uh, the super class account, then those fields are duplicated, redundant inside the checking and the savings, uh, both of the tables. So they are not uh, normalized. And uh, again, if we, when we using table per concrete class, for the ID generation strategy, we cannot use in identity. Okay, that's one special. Okay, so that's it for the table per concrete class. The third strategy to emulate inheritance in relational database. And we already cover all the cases about inheritance. If you have any question, leave a comment. If you like my video, share, subscribe my video, okay? Thank you, uh, no, share my video, subscribe my channel, okay? Uh, thank you for watching this video and see you next time, bye-bye.